Hi. The Panorama is one of the unusual crossovers found in multiband plugins from Melda Production. As you have already guessed by looking at the horizontal axis, it distributes signals into bands according to their panorama position in an input signal. However, don't expect a precise pan position following here. You can't, for example, extract a sand positioned at left 33 and send it into a band. That is why having more than three bands doesn't probably make much sense. You will see what I mean in a minute. Here is the M-Delay MB with the three band panorama crossover. Now listen to this percussion loop. It has some parts in the left channel, in the center, and in the right channel. I set two different delays in the first and third bands. The second band that receives a signal from the center doesn't have any effect. Now, if I play back that percussion loop, you would expect the delays working with the sounds panned only to the left and right positions. However, as you can hear, the percussions at the center are having fun too. Nothing wrong with that. It's just something good to know at working with the panorama crossover so you won't have false expectations. We find a similar situation with the next crossover, the mid side. One more splitter working with the signals spread in a stereo field. However, here a signal's position is considered in terms of the mid side matrix. Briefly, the mid-side matrix converts a stereo mix into two channels. Mid contains the monophonic part, the signal present in both left and right channels. Side contains the stereo part, the signal present only in left or right channels. In the crossover, the leftmost band receives the mid-channel and the rightmost band the side one. All bands distributed between these two accept some mix of the mid and side channels. Again. Don't hold your breath if you thought of some artificial intelligence. That's not going to happen. Yet, there are situations when such a crossover can be useful. Because bass instruments are usually positioned to the center, how about applying a reverb to the sounds located mostly on the sides? In that case, we could avoid a heavy reverb caused by the bass. No problem. Let's take the same percussion loop and the following setup in M Turbo Reverb MB. I used two band mid side crossover. The first band that receives the mid channel is bypassed, but the second one, processing the side channel, is enabled. Now I solo the second band, play the loop, and move the crossover point. What I'm trying to find is a position when I can't hear the sounds from the mid channel at all. Somewhere here, I think. Now, if I play the whole thing, you'll notice that the low pitch percussion doesn't have any reverb effect. To change the level of reverb, I must use the second band's gain controller. For comparison, this is how it would sound if I applied the reverb to the whole loop. Big difference, isn't it? That's all for now. Thanks for watching.